Peace movers, what up? Peace to all my movers, where you at? Where we at, movers? 7 p.m. Shout out to my boy Christian. Christian, what up, kid? TC Unleashed, I see you. Welcome to all my movers. I love, I love the punctuality. Y'all on when I jump on. This is what I'm talking about. Before we get started, can y'all hear me loud and clear? Like last time I did um the live from the office, I got great feedback. Everybody was telling me you need to do it from the office. So how's this sound on that side? Like I got time now. I can read the comments before we get started. Let me see. Joe Paul, what up, fam? And thank you for your condolences. You see, I'm repping my boy. You see, I'm repping warrior mentality. So thanks for the condolences, Joe Paul. Audio is, is, is tight? Okay, good, good. Yeah, I think um on Wednesday night, 7 p.m., we're going to do it from here. We're going to do it from here. I do the on the move on Monday nights. I feel comfortable in the car. I feel comfortable when I'm driving around, making deals, and I can just always pull over and um you know do the Monday night motivation from the car. I see my man Jermaine Miller just jumped in. James Cruz, what up? Okay, we got the big dogs in the building tonight, y'all. Yeah, we got the big dogs in the building. Aubrey Flynn, what up? She got the love from the West Coast in the building. Still early, so I'm going to do a few more shout outs before we jump into it. Steven Jamal, I see you, kid. Movers, I love this. I love the punctuality. I love that we into this thing because I'm sitting and I'm saying to myself, does anybody want to do this? Because we at the end of the year. And I know I'm excited to do it. And this means a lot to me. But I didn't know if everybody checked out. Everybody getting ready for New Year's. So I was like, yo, I don't care if it's, it's, it's me and two other people on. We just going to do it. I see my man, Zeem Supreme, Black Ari Gold, in the building. Ty Dash, I see you, fam. Damn, we got big dogs in here today. This is this is huge. I'll start in another two minutes before we get started. Um, yo, I I I gotta say, this is our community, and I've stressed this every freaking weekend. You know, one of our movers passed away. I'm not letting this man's legacy die. Just like if any of y'all something happened to you or something happened to your family or your business. You know, I'm still, I'm repping this warrior mentality. I'm going to rep this thing to the end. We're going to find a way to take this warrior mentality and keep it moving. Although physically, my man Michael is not still in, in, in the body. His spirit lives on. He was a mover every single time we did our lives. He was in here with us. One of the first people in the lives. So to his wife, to his family, you know, we send our condolences. We send our love. He is one of us. He is a mover. Just because physically he is not here anymore, his spirit is still with us. And I promise y'all, we're going to find a way to keep this warrior mentality thing going. I would do it for y'all and God willing, if anything ever happened to me, I want y'all to keep this power move maker thing going. Like this community, it has to grow. This is like for any of you guys, movers out there who are doing your thing, who need a network like this. We got to keep this thing going. We got to keep it growing. This is ours. It's our safe place. It's our place where we can come and we can get information and we can share and we can help each other grow. So trust me when I tell you, I value you guys. I value the fact that, you know, you're on like, like right when seven o'clock is here, y'all are jumping in. So for anybody who, oh man, I see my man Michael Smith, his wife just jumped on. I don't know if she was on earlier, but really give her a shout out, y'all. Joshia, I see you. We love you. We were just talking about your husband, Michael Smith. We are not letting that legacy die. I promise you. We are, we all, the fact that we are even in here, the fact that we are doing this live, we all have that warrior mentality and we will not, we cannot let that man's his, his, what, what he stood for died with his body. It will not happen. Not on my watch. So <clears throat> for everybody, like, like his wife, she just jumped in the building. She just jumped in this live. Her name is Joshia. I don't know what her, what her Instagram handle is, but, but, you know, please send your condolences to her. 
like right there in the comments because she's here listening. Um, Real quick before we, let me see, I like to get started about five minutes in. But before we get started, I'm going to say this, guys. Don't wait. You know, everybody, 2020 has been, th this has been some kind of year. We all know that. Y'all don't need me to tell you. And it is kicking our butt to the very end. But you don't have to wait. I know how, you know, everybody has these New Year's resolutions. Everybody's like, yo, I can't wait to the top of the year and I'm going to get started and I'm going to get busy. No, those are that, that's not the mover mentality. The mover mentality is very freaking different. We are closing out this year strong. We just lost one of our brothers, but we gonna keep it moving. We gonna keep going hard for him and what he stood for. We gotta close this um 2020 out with a warrior mentality, y'all. We gotta go hard to the end. So don't, you know, if you are in this live for the first time, this is a community. It is a brother and sisterhood of like-minded individuals. And for anybody who's in this live right now, do not, do not allow yourself to wait until the ball drop and all of a sudden you got this burst of energy that's going to leave in about four weeks anyway. Whatever your goals are, for one, you should have been working on them. But close out this year strong. That is the warrior mentality and that is what we're aiming for. We're not waiting for that ball to drop so that we can get started working. Um, Again, before we start, 7 p.m., Every Monday night is Motivation Monday, 7 p.m. Every Wednesday night, this is open to the community. It's our thing. So please repost, tell a friend to tell a friend. If you are young and you're starting in your business, this is where you come and you ask questions because there are a lot of very successful people in this live right now. And if you are somebody who is very established in your building, uh, in your business, I would love for you to come and drop a few words about the struggles, drop a few words about the successes, and just encourage anybody who's starting up, if you can do it, so can they. So I'm going to let the first person in. If you're trying to get into this live, I ask you, please hit that request button down below. Uh, let's see. See who we got in the building tonight, y'all. We closing out 2020 strong. This is the last one of 2020. What oh, up? my man. Z Supreme, what up? Brazil, what up, baby? I'm good, I'm good. Z, you looking good. The skin is glowing. I, I like the whole look. The glasses, you looking good. You know what we do? We keep it fresh. You know what it is? <laughs> nah. Do you, do you, do I, for anybody who doesn't know who you are, please let everybody know who you are. You are a certified mover, and, 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 I, and I'm so happy you even joined this live tonight. But well, one, I thank you for being here, bro. Happy holidays and peace and blessings to everyone out there. Uh, Azim Rashid, a uh, lifelong music executive, entertainment mover maker, um, just somebody who loves the culture. You know, I've been doing this since I was a teenager. I was a rapper. I was a DJ. I started on the street team. Um, and for the last 25 years, I'm living inside these corporate buildings doing music marketing and promotion. My man, Azim, that, that, and, and, you know, you... Just so you know, Zim, have you been on on Wednesday nights? I know you have joined um these. Like, I don't know if you joined on Wednesday nights. I have a call one. Okay. okay, so on Wednesday nights, I really try to open it up to the community, and I love when people like yourself, who are you know executives, high level executives, you have done some incredible things with your career, entrepreneur. Um, you you you're very focused. If you can just share some words about your journey and really just drop some gems, because I like to, in this community, I'm no better than anybody else. Sean Prez is, is on equal footing with that guy or that girl who's starting up their business, you know, and this is their first go round. And I like when people like yourself who has worked with some of the greats out there and you can tell your own story you're on equal footing with somebody who's just getting out of school or maybe never have gone to school. And maybe you can drop some encouraging words to them and let them know how you was able to get from your start to where you are today. Well, man, I think that the commonality we all have is just drive, hard work, and determination um, for me. And, and as we do these talks, and I think 2020 has been great 
Um, I t a lot of duty as, as outspoken as I am on these things, and as you and I work together, you know, as outspoken we have to be in the meetings to get our truth across, I'm really proud of you. But I've been blessed um, to have, a, again, a lifelong career in music, which is a blessing in and of itself. I mean, how many people were asking what they knew they wanted to do at a very young age? You know, from the time I was seven years old, I knew I wanted to be in the business. And if you talk to people that knew me in high school and college, this is all I talked about. This is all I did. So to be living that dream um, is just, one, it's just a huge blessing, man. I give all praise to the Lord. Um, I think that the thing about my life and my career specifically is just about being authentic. I mean, you've been with me, you've seen me in the good and the bad situations, and you know I'm the same guy in the room whether I'm right, I'm the same guy in the room whether I'm wrong. And I think that the, this is the that got me here. Um, our business, you no, know, it's show business. And I think a lot of people go in for the show, but not for the work. Woo! I think what's really consistent about people like myself and you who've been around, the work is always there. Um, again, when, when you're in those rooms with those power players, you know, whether it be Buff, whether it be, whether it be Balls or the Michael Kaiser, or the, whoever these artists are we're working with, um, it's Khalifa. I mean, you pick them, even today. Um, you know, you have to be authentic because artists are looking for They're looking for you to be authentic. They're looking for your purpose. And you have to be the same guy when, when you have to be the same when you want to room with the big dogs and the streets, people that actually make the things happen. Zim, I don't know if you can hear me, but your sound is going in and out. The, 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 the internet connection that definitely don't sound right. Yeah, I need to get my AirPods. Can you hear me now? Is that better? We can hear you. I mean, if you got to get your AirPods and get them, I mean, we 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 here. Um, but what I was saying was that you have to be your your authentic self all the time. Like mm -hmm. be on the clock, the same person you have to be when you get that big opportunity. And I think that's that's to me that's the main thing for my. Um, the other thing is people need to understand. Yeah, it, it, it's going in and out. We can't, we can't hear you, brother. I'm fine. I'm gonna I'm log. I'll come back. Okay. Peace, y'all. Um, for anybody who's jumping in this conversation, please just try to make sure your internet connection is stable. Um, I'm gonna let the next person jump into this live, and we can just keep it moving. Uh. See what we got jumping in this live, y'all. This is the way we need to close the year out. Encouraging each other. Oh, my brother, my little brother. Yo, what's up, big bro? How you feeling, man? I'm good. I'm good. Jermaine, what up, brother? Yeah, it's good to see you, my brother. Really good to see you. Nah, it's excellent to see you. For I mean, obviously, I know you. I love what you do. You're an inspiration to me. But can you let our audience know who you are, what you do, and just encourage a lot of the movers on this, um, on this, on this live to, you know, go out with bang at the end of this year? Yeah, I mean, I'm uh, my name is Jermaine Miller. I'm a three times best selling author, um, CEO of Mill Real Estate here in New York City, New York. The founder of Jermaine Miller Consulting and the CEO of Jermaine Miller Publishing as well. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've been there, done that, um, and uh, I, I'm just excited to be on a call today. Good for you. Good for you, brother. You know, I, I'm excited that you're on the call because you have a very unique story. Um, and, and it might be unique to some, but it's not unique to a lot of us who come from these same impoverished neighborhoods. And the whole reason why I structured this live the way that I did, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. The whole reason I structured this live the way that I did is because I want to make sure when people see me, when they see you, we're on equal footing. Right. Like, we, we weren't born with a silver spoon in our mouth. Anything that could go wrong in our life, at some point it probably did go wrong. Before right, exactly. We, reached a certain level of success. So if you could just share just a small bit of your story, you know, and, and just let people know that it can be done. 
Absolutely. Um, I didn't grow up, like you said, I didn't have a silver spoon in my mouth, but I did not come from uh, uh, a bad situation. I was raised in a single parent household. My mother raised me and my younger brother. I grew up in Staten Island, Shaolin Island, Wu-Tang, you know, the drama. And uh, I had an influence growing up. One of my influences growing up was my grandmother. She was my first inspiration. She lived in Harlem in the 80s. Um, you know, the drugs, the violence, the, you know, the rap epidemic, everything was going on in the 80s. And she inspired me because I wanted to get her a home. I wanted to get her out of the drug infested streets of Harlem. So I went to college, first person in my family to go away to college. And the second year of college, we discovered something. What we discovered is she had lung cancer. And cancer in seven different languages is the most feared word. So the first thing I thought about is, well, you know what? I'm smart enough at this point in my life. I don't need college anymore. I left college my second year in, in, in school. And I came back to be with my grandmother. And shortly thereafter, she passed away. I was 19 at the time. And the day that I buried my grandmother, I did not realize that I was also burying my dreams and burying my goals. And for six years of my life, I parked myself. I was literally sitting on the sidelines of life. Everything that could possibly go wrong, as Murphy's Law once said, oh, Murphy's Law says, did go wrong and it will go wrong at the most unexpected time. And so I woke up at 25 years old, every reason to do well in life, but I was failing. And here's why, Sean. I was sleeping on the floor in the basement. I literally was homeless. I had 93 cents in my account. I had bad credit, gone through a divorce, spent time in Rikers Island. You name it, everything that could potentially happen at 25 years old, it happened for me. But here's what I had to do that day. Uh, looking at 93 cents in my bank account. I asked myself, Sean, in five years, if I continue doing what I'm doing right now, where will I be? And that's a tough question to ask yourself. It's a tough question to ask yourself even now in the midst of all of the things that were going on, COVID, economics, scandemic, pandemic, you name it, everything that's going on right now, it's a question you want to ask yourself. In five years, regardless of the situation and regardless of the circumstances, if I continue doing what I'm doing right now, where will I be? You know, Sean, circumstances only reveal who we are to ourselves. So what that being said is, even in the midst of everything going on, who are you becoming? Because when we talk about goals and dreams, we have to understand that our goals don't come down to where we are. We have to rise up to those goals, which means we have to become a different type of person in order to achieve those goals. And that's a, a reason why you said something powerful. You said a lot of us is going to wait till January 1st. A lot of us are going to wait till January 15th. But here's one of the major issues that we're dealing with. We have what they call rollover goals. <clears throat> Remember back in the days, uh, the cell, uh, I think it was Singular or AT&T used to have rollover minutes. Well, what we've been doing for the last 10 years, five years, seven years is we keep rolling over our goals and our dreams. And what's happening is they're becoming uninspiring. So now our goals are supposed to be like magnets and they pull us through the tough times. They pull us through the drama. They pull us through the pain and the adversity. But what's happening is they're no longer inspiring to us. And so I remember this year, exactly COVID, when COVID first started, I was going through a depression, probably just like everybody else is. It's like, what the heck is going on, right? And so I found myself watching uh, CNN every day, constant negative news. I'm watching MSNBC, all of this stuff, everything that's going on, violence, uh, epidemic, scandemic, pandemic, whatever, COVID, everything's going on and I was frustrated. And so one day I decided I'm no longer going to look at the news anymore. And right before I was getting ready to turn off the te television, guess what happened, man? The cameraman zoomed in on someone sleeping on a bench. In the midst of the riots, in the midst of the looting, in the midst of the shooting, in the midst of the chaos, there's a person, Sean, laying on a bench with the covers pulled over their eyes. And that moment turned my life around in COVID. Here's why. I asked myself a question. Where are you laying mentally, physically, and spiritually in the midst of a moment when you can do something about something? This guy was laying on a bench in the midst of everything with the covers pulled over his eyes, man.
And so I asked myself this question. I want you to ask yourself this question this evening. What can I do now in the midst of one of the most trying times in the world, although they say that will leave a lasting impact? That's the goal. We can't focus no more about the money, the houses, the cars, the watches, the clothes. All of that stuff is going to leave be left behind. But what are you doing right now to leave a legacy for your children's children? That's what we need to talk about. Yo, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> Jermaine, I know you wasn't on Monday nights. I do Monday night motivation where I just take 10, 15 minutes and, and, and just try to encourage as many people as humanly possible. I literally just touched on that same point that you were just speaking about. We all want to be successful. Right. We all want big bank accounts. But truth of the matter is, it is your legacy. That's right. What are you really leaving behind? Because the money ain't coming with you. Right. But 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 that love you share, that love you spread, the, the the good works, the good like what is your like what are you working for? So right. I love that you touched on it because obviously somebody needs to hear this. Because yes. I just spoke about that same point on Monday and you bring it right back up. So if you are in this mob right now, maybe God is speaking to you. Maybe right now you're so focused on making a dollar. You're so focused on an opportunity or chasing the, the uh, 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 a great opportunity. When you should be focused on is chasing your purpose, and the right. money comes after that, but you right. leave an amazing legacy. Right. Yeah, I like that purpose. The purpose is a lot of people are confused with the purpose. You know, we can go online all day. We can watch news. We can watch social media. Listen, man, every single day from the moment that you wake up and look out the window, everybody is suggesting something to you. There's a suggestion. So we never really have time to actually sit to the side and ask ourselves, well, what do I want to do, <laughs> right? Like, what do I really want to do? And so we spend the dominating portion of our day going after things we just really don't want. So from the top of the year, I think what we need to decide is what is it that I really want for myself? What do I want to have? What do I want to be? Who do I want to be? What do I want to do? What do I want to accomplish? These are questions that we simply just don't ask ourselves. And because we don't ask for what we want, we get what we don't want. Yo, you preaching, kid. Wow. Wow. Because we don't ask for what we want, we, we get, get what, what we, we don't, don't want. want. It's so true. It's so true. Movers. Like, like y'all. I hope y'all paying attention to what this man is saying because you are dropping so many gems right now, Jermaine. Like, he, he, honestly, somebody needs to hear this. And I tell you this, and and I can't stress this point enough. You don't have to wait to January first. That's true. You don't have to wait until some milestone that you set in your head. You can make this decision on what I want now. Right. What my life's purpose is going to be. This is stuff you can do right now as we speak. So please, you hit, like Jermaine, you are hitting on so many great points. And I'm hoping that somebody in this live is receiving it, truly receiving these words that you're saying. But thank you so much for jumping in, Jermaine. Yeah, I got brother. Thank you enough for sharing. Yeah, brother. Pleasure to be here this evening. I'm, I'm, I enjoy what you do, man. And, you know, from the moment we, we met, man, I knew you had something special in you. And it's my life's purpose to make sure you get that out of you, brother. And, that, and that's likewise. And, and I can't thank you enough for, for jumping in and sharing and really doing what you would normally get paid to do. And, yeah, and, so and just sharing the wisdom and, and the motivation, you know, with, with, with our audience. So, so thank you so much, Jermaine. Love you, brother. Anytime, brother. Love you, little bro, and, and, and we'll speak offline. Happy New Year, though. Happy New Year to you, brother. My brother. What? Movers, what up? Jermaine, that was so powerful. 
please go out there and follow my man, Jermaine Miller. Jermaine Miller, please follow him. I should have had him say his arm handle, but if you go and you search Jermaine Miller, his name comes right back up. He's an incredible motivational speaker, somebody I look up to, somebody I personally call for tips, and, and he just provides me with so much wisdom. He's my little brother, but I call him for tips. So please go and follow my man, Jermaine um, Miller. And, and here's the deal, guys. I keep saying this is why we have to share what we're doing here week over week. I am a firm believer if we grow this community, we don't have to look outward. We can do it ourselves. We can, we can blow up each other's business. We can call on each other for advice. Somebody in this live has gone through something you're going through. You don't have to look far, but this is why we have to continue to grow this community. Let's see who's next trying to jump in this live. If you're trying to jump in, hit that request button. See who we got in this live real quick. What is good, coach? Chris, Christian, what up, Chris? You know, you know something, Christian. I'm, 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 I'm gonna come back to you because okay. um, my man, my man, um, Azim, he has to go, and he was actually waiting to get back in. So I'm gonna come right back to you. All right. Hopefully, we got Azim here. Get him back in this live. Azim, hopefully you ain't had to go. If not, we'll cancel that request and we'll come back. We'll give them another second. Movers, let's just keep this thing going. I'm proud of all of y'all. I'm proud of everybody coming in week over week. This is what we do. Please spread the word. Zine Supreme, I don't know where you at. Okay, it's saying that he's saying it won't let him in. I'll try to let you in one more time. Zim, I'm gonna hit it on um, the fresh start again. We'll try you one more time. Okay, there we, there we go. go. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear oh, now. Much better. Got my pods in. Got the flaky Wi-Fi. But yo, uh, first of all, Jermaine was amazing. Shout out to that brother, man. He's dope. He really is. He's so dope. He really you know, is. What I was saying, man, and the basis of what I was saying is being about being authentic. Um, from the boardroom to the block, you have to be who you are. Um, that's the, that's been a thread of my whole career. It's been a thread of my whole life. Uh, if you've known me for five years, you've known me for 25 years. I'm always the same guy. Also, man, I think that you got to have a spirit of service, man. We are here to serve. We're born to serve. And if you believe whatever you believe in, if you believe in any higher power, the, the, the spirit of service is something that gets you through. And, you know, we talk about what we want for ourselves. You know, obviously, we want to take care of our families. Obviously, we want to put a roof over our head, food in our belly, have a car to drive. But when you think about what your, what your purpose is, what Jermaine was talking about, what are you really here to do? And if you're in service of others, what you will find is those blessings come back to you tenfold. I mean, again, I, I can't think of a time where I was ever out of work um, for, for any substantial amount of time or I wasn't covered by a contract. And that, and that says something about, you know, how, how I move and how... God has touched my life. And I think that had I not been the person I've been throughout my entire career, those opportunities would not, would not be there. Um, the other thing, just in terms of our business, and I, we got a lot of entrepreneurs here and a lot of people who are doing their own thing, man, you got to be professional. Like this is, life is about business. You know, whatever you're doing, you got to be professional. And I think that if you, if you exude a level of professionalism, you'll be amazed at what comes back to you in terms of, of again, going back to service, you know, word of mouth. I often ask people about custom, customer relationships and what that means to them. And I always ask this question, what's more important, your first customer or your millionth customer? And a lot of people say, well, your millionth customers have got to be, you know, that's the one. I say, but what about the first one? Because the first one gets you the second one and the second one gets you the fourth one. And exponentially that grows, man. So I just think that when you talk about life lessons and especially uh, for, for the African-American brothers and sisters that are here, you know, how you carry yourself. You know, you only got one name, right? Your reputation. 
and you can lose your money, you can lose your car, you know, God forbid you lose family members, you lose your spouse, but that name that you carry, that that's yours forever. And when people speak of you, you know, you want when people speak your name in rooms that you don't exist in, you want that always to be positive. And that goes back to your character. So I think just fundamental things that we learn as children, they say everything you really need to learn, you learn the first grade, right? Treat people the way you want to be treated. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't chill. Don't all, all those things that you learned as a kid, man. They apply as an adult. And what happens is we get so caught up in life that we forget the fundamentals, man. And, and respect will always be given when you pay respect. So I think those fundamental things, man, are just threads of life that you have to keep going through. And, and you don't have to be a holy roller or seriously spiritual. You just have to just tap into your source, man. And when you tap into your source, the rest is the rest is easy. Wow, Zane, you just dropped so many gems. Um, you know, it's crazy. Somebody needs to hear this. I put up a post not too long ago. Maybe it was this week or last week. And, and, and my post literally said, I'm blessed because I'm a blessing. Amen. It's literally just that simple. That That's what I wrote. It's literally just that simple. And just what you said, and you know, you got to be in the spirit of service. And people think that it's all about them. And you don't realize that the higher power will bless you, will bless you if you are in this, if you have this spirit of service. Absolutely. And, and you are a blessing to others. I love the fact that you said, you know, I've, I've never been out without work. And even in between jobs, I've always had different accounts. That is a testament to your character and a testament to the fact that when you were in position, you didn't abuse it. You never Absolutely. got above because you know like I know. In the music industry, your reputation is all you got. It's everything. It's everything. And it's funny you say that because, you know, we, you know, we talk about people wanting to see you win. People want to see good people win when they know you're good they want to see you win and and it's and it's really interesting the fact that people always you know we're in such a um a space where if you're not visible and, and i applaud you on everything you've been doing with power move makers and you and i talk offline a lot like you put yourself out there but more importantly people are willing to help you because you've been such a help to other people and throughout your whole career you're humble you shy away from the spotlight. You're not doing this for you. You're doing this for other people. And I think the opportunities will come and they always prevail because when you're doing the right thing, the right things happen to you, man. And I, and I always look at the fact that when you are trying to get somewhere, you're trying to go somewhere, you never get there alone. The journey, the journey, is, the journey is not by yourself. You didn't come on this earth by yourself. Your, your parents had to come together just for you to be here, right? So you are never, no matter whether you have a good relationship with them or bad relationship with them, you are never alone in this journey. And somebody somewhere is always doing something for you. And I think we get caught up in a lot of this, you know, I want to do it for myself and I want to be my own man or be my own woman. And that's cool. And I understand that the bootstrap mentality of, of, of putting yourself in a situation where you don't have to be accountable to other folks or, or be holding to other people. But if you really think about that word service, the word serve, right? You're there to serve. So if you're in the business of your, if you're in your own business, customer service is what you're about. Because if you don't serve other people, nobody's going to buy your product or use your service. If you work for somebody else, if you don't, put, if you don't give an honest day's work for an honest day's pay, you're not going to have those opportunities moving forward. And I just think it's really, I think we get so caught up in in this me, me, me mentality that we forget about we. You know, and it's just it's just the spirit of teamwork, man. And you have to really understand what that's about. And I think that the, for, for the young people specifically out here trying to figure out who they want to be or trying to figure out what they want to do, I always say this. I'm not the biggest. I'm not the fastest. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the most good looking. But you know the one thing I have that nobody else has that I know? My work ethic. My work ethic is, 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 is A1, day one, the whole way. And I feel that we all have the same opportunities when we get in that room to shine. And I'm going to make sure that I put my best foot forward. You know, I have an 11 year old son and I was teaching him the other day about cleaning his bathroom. And I was laughing because I worked fast food in high school. Three years straight, I worked at Church's Fried Chicken. I was the youngest junior manager in the whole district. But I cleaned toilets. And he's like, well, I don't understand. I said, dude, 
if I don't want to use this toilet, why do I think my customers want to use this toilet? So whether I'm cleaning the toilets or whether I'm sitting in the boardroom trying to cut, you know, big deal, it's always the same with me. Oh, yeah. See, I don't even know where to go because you're touching on so much great stuff. And, and for all of the movers in this live right now, I hope you guys are listening because everything that he's saying is, number one, it's in the spirit of service. But number two, it's having respect and integrity for who you are. You are the product. You are, you know, your reputation it revolves around everything you do and everything you don't do. Yep. This is what people will be saying about you when you're not blessed enough, like you said earlier, to be in that room. So if you take shortcuts, you are not willing to put in the work with it. Th th those are the conversations that people are having when it's time to choose between you, your product, your service, and somebody else's. So thanks so much for bringing so much of this stuff to light, Zim. Z, do me a favor. Where can people find you? Because I, I like to try to keep this to one hour, and I know you were supposed to jump at seven thirty. Okay. So thank you so much for even coming on. Where can our mover audience find you? I'm at Black Ari Gold everywhere. B l a c k a r i g o l d. Black Ari Gold. Or just put my name in. Azim Rashid. It pops up, but I'm there everywhere. Z, thank you so much for jumping in. We don't speak. Have a, a, a very happy and safe new year, my brother. And I would love to get you back into these lives coming in, in, into the new year because you got so much to offer. I love you, and I just want to tell you thanks and happy new year. Respect. Right back at you, brother. Love. God yep. bless. My man. Uh, I, you know, before we even move on, I see so many people who who, who just jumped in. Uh, 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 Truth Be Told podcast. Uh, my man Derek Ferguson, Vibranium Gold, always in the building supporting. Um, Code 31 Media, Coach D, what up? Uh, Brother North, I see you. It's so many. I, I, I can't even count, but I want to acknowledge all of the movers who have been supporting for day one and all of the new movers. That, that, that are just finding out what we're doing. Please continue to share because people need to hear this. People need to be encouraged. People need to get this education. And for anybody who needs to ask a question, I don't just want this to be a one-sided conversation. So if you have a question, lose your fear right now. Lose your fear. Jump in, ask a question. There is no silly question. There's no question that's too small. There's no question that's too big. If I can't answer it, Trust me when I tell you there is somebody in this live right now who has been where you've been and, and, and or is at where you're trying to go. Rod Dollars, I see you. What up, brother? Always in the building. Always reposting. Always shouting out power move makers. Uh, let's see. And I'm going to try to get to everybody I can. I, I typically try to keep this to an hour, but if, if, if you got to go over a few minutes, I will. Oh, man. James Cruz, what up? What's up, Presidential? What's going on, man? Happy holidays, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, good. You know, we, we, I see um, you got the fresh cut. You cut the hair down a little bit? Yeah, I took it off, man. I'm over here on island time, so we're getting too hot out here. I had to take it off, man. Too much sweat. You know, where, where, where you where you coming in from? I'm home in Puerto Rico, man. I'm back home where I need to be with my family, man. You know, that's it's right. Been, shout out to PR. Yeah, uh, shout out to everybody on there. How y'all doing, man? Miss y'all. Hope everybody's having a healthy, wonderful, wonderful holiday season. It's been a rough year, you know. But Prez, you know, I was listening to you before. You talked about this warrior spirit, you know, and we all come from kings and warriors. Um, but we've been uh. We've been taught different things and our confidence has been taken away from us through certain teachings from our quote unquote masters. But, um, you know, I saw a meme and I thought of you right away. And it said, if 2020 didn't bring the hustle out of you, then you didn't have it in you. And when I, I saw, saw that, that same meme, thing, when I saw that meme, man, it went right to you. It went like, yeah, Prez, man, you know, that hustle, you know, that hard work, that hard work ethic, you know, I'll be honest, man. 2020 took a lot out of people, but 2020 put a lot into people too. It put a lot of 
personal reflection. It took a lot of personal strength. It gave a lot of people ideas, time to think, time to reflect, to really realize what truly matters, whether it's family, whether it's health, whether it's just self-knowledge. And, you know, I thought of you right away when I saw that meme. And I was like, wow, man, you know, if, if I, I pressed my, and then you hit me right away, you know what I'm saying, and asked me to be on. And I was like, yo, this is God's work. Like, the universe is talking, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, this past year, a lot of people, you know, have, have suffered a lot. And a lot of people have taken that suffering and turned that into positive energy, you know. And, and I never forget when I called you about my nephew and I started to ask you, you know what I'm saying, well, what is it I do? You know, my nephew came to me and I had that, that, that Jordan 23 jersey hung up in my basement. I had been retired, you know what I'm saying? And we joked about it and you said, take out the 45, you know what I'm saying? That's so, right. You know what I mean? And, you know, I want to say thank you to everybody out there for supporting, not myself, supporting you, supporting your moves, supporting power moves. But you know what? When you started this thing at um, Brooklyn College, no longer, uh, in, the, in the college that we went to and spoke. Yeah, LIU. LIU, LIU. LIU. Mm -hmm. it, and um, i never forget, I said, yo, Prez is on to something. You know what I'm saying? I said, he's on to something. This is something that got to be supported because there are so many young kids out there that are trying to get or think they want to be where we're at. And they think they see the success, but they don't know the hard work and the struggle that goes behind it. The level of vulnerability to be able to redesign yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like we talk a lot about how we designed certain initiatives. You were always one that I would say would give back. I was watching your interview about how you said you couldn't have done it without Rome. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that respect that you gave Rome and that love and support you gave him from that bad boy street team. But I got to say in front of everybody, man, I couldn't have done it without you. I couldn't have done I it without you. That. I couldn't have done it without you testing me. I couldn't have done it without you challenging me. But I also couldn't have done it without you supporting me in your own way. And you know what I'm saying? So if people, when they talk about giving flowers and all that, yeah, that's cool, I get that term. But I want to give you respect. I want to give you the acknowledgement that you made me better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like to joke around about the sports thing, but you, if you had glasses on, you would have been my Horace Grant. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you'd have been my Horace Grant. You, you went and played for Orlando, but when you was with the Bulls, we was on top. You know what I'm saying? But you went to Orlando trying to get that chip. You know what I'm saying? We had to play even harder and even better because we knew the competition was on the other side. But, you know, for, for everybody on here that, that, that's been, you know, listening to, to, to you, your preaching, because I look at you as a preacher. You know what I'm saying? Because you give the word. You give the word from, from your standpoint and also from a spiritual standpoint. And I just wanted to say that we could talk about all the jewelry, the tours, the travel, the cars, all that stuff. But if you don't have a connection to some higher power, to some That's spiritual right. insight, to individuals that can be angels in your life, you know what I'm saying? You are an angel in my life in more ways than one. You allowed me to be vulnerable. You allowed me to be honest. You allowed me to speak my truth and not be afraid. You made that comfort zone so sincere. That, you know what I'm saying? And you're doing that for others and you're leading others. Let me shut up these damn Puerto Rican dogs. They start wilding <laughs> out. Um, but, you know, you start, you start with that. But then you also got to look at this. There's nothing more important in this industry than your relationships. Good, bad, or indifferent. No amount of money, no amount of prestige, no amount of gifts can change a true, sincere relationship. Good, bad, or indifferent. Sometimes you gotta turn a good situation into a better one. Sometimes you gotta turn a bad situation into a good one. Sometimes you just gotta leave situations the way they are and accept them for what they are and allow the universe to unveil the truth of them. You've been a in that perspective. Yo, and I gotta, um, I gotta first, applaud you for that. Nah, you, you know, Cruz, uh, we had we had Jamil Spencer jump in um oh, man, in the live a couple of weeks ago, and he said something that was so dope, and it reminded me of something you just said. But he was like, you know, Sean, because he was talking about relationships, and for all of you movers out there, pay attention to what James just said. But Jamil said. You know, Sean, the true test of your relationships, because everybody, when you on top, you can get a phone call through, right? <laughs> but the true test is when people show up for you long after they don't need you. 
long after maybe you are alive and you moved on. But when you pick up that phone and people are willing, like, like when, when I call a James Cruz or when a James Cruz calls Sean Prez, the fact that we are willing to show up for one another, that says, it says so much about history and relationship and the fact that there was something there that was real and it just didn't center around making money together. So please, guys, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know, you know, everybody in here, I know you're trying to move up at your companies. There are businesses you're trying to start, but those relationships are so key and you have to cherish them because you don't know what you're going to be doing tomorrow. I didn't know I would be doing this. And I definitely know, you, you, seriously, you know me. I've always played behind the scenes. I had no idea that one day I would be motivated by a spirit of, I just want to help the next generation, whoever they may be. Maybe I'll never meet them. Maybe it'll be somebody that will only ever meet me through these videos. But if I could bring people like you to the table who can say something that can spark something in them, then I can leave this world a very happy man. And that's what legacy is all about, man. You know, I got to shout out G.J. Stacks who just jumped in here. You know, Stacks and I never really had a real close, honest relationship. And Stacks and I sat down and, and we decided to do something together. And I'll tell you something, Fred. You know my phone was not ringing for them two years I was retired. But the minute... <laughs> Hold on. I, I need you to tell people this. This is so important. Please. Do not gloss over what you're about to say. So my phone wasn't ringing, unless it was to try to get somebody a reservation or get hold, to a party. Hold, hold, hold on for one second. Hold on for one second. Well, I didn't properly introduce you. Can you, for anybody who does not know who James Cruz is, can you give just a 30-second, 3,000-foot overview of who you are and then go into the story? You know, I like to say it very simply. I'm Yolanda's son, and I'm Alexis and Isabella's dad. Um, that's all I am in this world. But um, if you want the history... You know, 28 years in the game, managed everybody from Puff to 50 Cent, unless he's, uh, he says I didn't manage him, but, you know, the plaques say different. Um, Nicki Minaj, you name it, you know, years of bad boy, head of promotions of bad boy, head president of SRC Marketing. Gabby was the president of the record label, worked for Steve Rifkin. Um, then I managed the longest tenured manager, Sean Combs, for 13 years straight. You know, I had a specialty practice. I managed one client, um, and that was one hell of a client. Um, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, just done a lot of things in my life, represented a lot of brands, closed a lot of deals. Uh, but mostly I'm just Yolanda's son, and I'm Alexis and Isabella's dad. And I'm proud to be able to say that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, back to what I was trying to say about Stacks before we lose him, because I know he's in St. Bars chilling. You know, relationships. DJ Stacks and I had a very uh, funny, weird relationship for many different reasons. But there was always a respect level there. And um, Stacks brought a project to me. And lo and behold, that project was my nephew, because my nephew was afraid to talk to me. My nephew didn't want to ask Uncle James to come out of retirement, didn't want to ask Uncle James for a favor. He didn't want to ask Uncle James to do what Uncle James does. And Stax came to me, and we looked at each other's eyes and put everything aside, and Stax is home team. Stax is home team. We, we worked hard. My phone was not ringing. That 23 jersey was hung up. It was done. Puff Daddy is over. James is gone. He's done. He ain't got Puff behind him no more. And you know what? It was right because my confidence was struck. My confidence was struck. Prez, me and you had those conversations. My yeah. confidence was yeah. fucked up because now nah, I didn't have Puff behind me. But what I had behind me was a woman named Lee Marie and two daughters. And I had a family behind me and a responsibility. And Stacks and I said, all right, cool. Sat with my nephew. He played me a song called Whoopty. I said, yo, this is a great record. This is going to be a big record. All right, uncle, can you help me out? And I said, sure, I'll help you out. And he said, well, what? I said, what else you got? And he played me some joints. And I went downstairs and I took out that 23 jersey and I hung it up on, on the hanger and put it up. And I pulled out that 45. And I told him, I said, I ain't going to give you 36 points and 14 rebounds and, and eight assists tonight, but I'll give you 16 points. I'll give you eight rebounds and I'll give you three assists, but I teach you how to win. And you know, still hit the triple double. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> stacks, mechs. The whole team, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to say, man, you know, we put it all together. But those relationships, you know, everybody came to the table. Even though my phone wasn't ringing, they answered the phone. 
So even though they wasn't calling, they didn't have a reason to call, they answered the call. And when they answered the call, they all came through. But I had the product to give them. I had, wasn't asking for a favor. I was bringing an opportunity. And for all of y'all that don't know, sometimes even when things are going good, they go real bad. For this call, I tell you, Prez, YouTube pulled that song off of YouTube. YouTube took the sample down and said, it's over. It's over. Are you serious? Independent artist. The sample was from an Indian movie. They pulled it off of YouTube on Thursday night. On Friday, we couldn't find who the company that owned it. Saturday, we couldn't find the company that owned it. Sunday, we were stressing out. Monday, they said, we're pulling it off of Spotify. We're pulling it off of Apple, all the platforms. We found the person that did it. Stax is on the line. For four straight nights, we were on the phone until 6 a.m. in the morning, every single night. Myself and his lawyer, Angie Martinez out of Miami, who does Osuna, Pitbull, yeah. and a few others. We're on the phone till four or five, five in the morning, every single night. And there's two things that happen when you get a record pulled from YouTube as an independent artist. Number one, you lose it for 30 days and you don't get any of your views back. Number two, you lose the record completely. We got that son of a bitch back on in 72 hours. Oh, man. That's dope, Cruz. I'm that so happy you told this story. That wasn't, that wasn't me. That wasn't the lawyer. That wasn't the record. That wasn't the guys in India. That was the universe saying this is meant to be. Now, it cost a pretty penny, don't get me wrong. And we did what we had to do. But as an independent artist, for my nephew to be able to get that blessing opened up so many other blessings for him to be able. And yes, he is signed to Warner Music Group now. Yes, French Montana is EPing the first project. I got the best executive producer, artist slash EP slash producer that I've ever played with in my life. And playing around with French is like playing with Jordan because that boy nasty. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> but, you know, but I say all that to say this. It started from my nephew being afraid to ask me for a favor to Stax putting his ego aside and coming and asking me for the favor, but me putting my ego aside and saying, yes, let's do it, to us on a fly, going to EQ distribution, having OG Wan press the button for me, having Christian and Sweetness and the whole team over at EQ do their job, and then YouTube comes and pulls it, calling Lior, calling AJ, begging him for, for, for three days, give me 72 hours, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it in 72 hours. My relationships speak for themselves. Everybody said, give James a minute, if anybody could save it, he can. The universe came in and saved it. The record went. Warner Music Group called. The deal got done in, in 48 hours. Shout to Julian. Julian Petty, the head of business affairs at Warner Music Group, who also happened to be B.I.G.'s lawyer and also happened to run the Biggie Estate. So everything came together. It was a perfect storm. But had it not been for Stax making that call, none of this would ever happen. So shout to Stax. Shout to the home team. Shout to relationships. And shout to God, you know, shout out to God for putting this all together. But most of all, before all that even happened, Prez, shout to you for giving me that confidence to put that 45 jersey on and not miss a step. That's what we do, um, Cruz. That, that, honestly, that's what we are supposed to do. It is our job for people in movers, like really pay attention to what this man was just saying. This is, I don't care, you could become a, a, a billionaire. It is your job. If you can't, I'm not telling you to go give money. I'm not telling you, it don't cost you nothing to say a kind word to somebody. It don't cost you nothing to remind somebody just how dope they really are. Just because you down the day don't mean you're not going to be back up on top tomorrow. That costs you nothing. Flashing a smile, accepting somebody's phone call, returning a text, it costs you absolutely nothing. But it might mean everything to that person on the other end of it. So do not get blinded by success. Do not buy into all of these images of what you think successful people do. They're unapproachable. All of that stuff is bull crap. And the two of us, we're living proof of that because whether we are up, we're down, we're here for each other. And so many people who jump into these lives week over week, they're coming in for one reason and one reason only. They want to, to encourage the next generation of movers. And I don't care if you are 15 or you're 55. They want to encourage the next generation of movers 
you, number one, can do it. If I do it, you can do it. And there's a way to do it with integrity and being able to look yourself in the mirror at the end of the day. So thank you so much, Cruz, for sharing. Yo, before I go, I got to get one more thing. I'm going to give you this. Stacks, always for you, Stacks. Love you, boy. I'm going to give you one more thing. Here goes your joke for a moment. All right? Here's something nobody knows. Thanks to Sean Prez and his support and his inspiration for me to go do drink champs, which I was very concerned about doing. I called Prez for his advice, you know, and I was like, do I do this? And he was like, you know, you did my show. Why not? And I was like, it's drink champs and I don't drink. And he was like, well, you know, let do it sober. And um, I said, all right, and I did it. And, you know, a lot of great things were said. Shout, shout to Nori, shout to Eric Nick, shout to Chris Lighty, rest in peace. My brother's always with me. But thanks to President's support, we give you 100. Nori, in his podcast deal, has approached Eric Nix and I, and we'll be doing our first podcast starting in January called Innovators. And Innovators, here's your Joker moment. Innovators is a, you saw, you did the logo, Prez. Yeah, That's another yeah. thing you did. Yeah. <laughs> Innovators is about, there's no I in team, but there's an M and an E. And then the Z, it's innovators with a Z because these are all the cats you slept on. All the cats you never knew that had been through the trenches. The guys that were out at the tunnel till three, four, five, six in the morning, putting up poster boards, getting arrested, getting locked up, getting the street team van took. The guys in the back room negotiating the deals when nobody knew what the deals really looked like or what the numbers really were, but the jewelry and the Rolls Royces said something else when the deal was not what it was. Those guys that saved the day, those guys that showed up to the hospital when people were sick, like Pretty Lou, God bless him coming back from his situation. All these individuals that really are the backbones of the music business, like Sean Prez, like Josh Takeman, like Jamil Spencer, like Gabby Acevedo, like Sean Pecas, all these guys that really, really put in the work. So Prez, thank you for that. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for inspiring me. And look forward to interviewing you and put this shit on reverse, because I know you got a lot to say, because you got a lot of stories. But um, to everybody else, you know, it is, it is New Year's Eve tomorrow. I want to wish everybody a healthy, and, and wealthy, and I don't mean wealthy financially, I mean a wealthy in the sense of health and love and family. I wish everybody a healthy and wealthy, prosperous new year. You know what I'm saying? God bless everybody out there. God bless you and your families. You know what I'm saying? God bless you, Prez, your family and everything you're doing and all your moves. I'm here for you in every way, whatever I could do, anywhere, anytime, because there's no no when it comes to family. There's no no when it comes to family. Remember what that, there's no no when it comes to family. You can't I say love no. That. They can't I say no. It. And to everybody else out there, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for all your support. Prez, you got another independent account coming. Because you know we're going to do this all <laughs> over again. <laughs> I'm now, that's all you. Um, Stacks, I know you out there in St. Bars. Keep doing your thing. Um, and to everybody else, man, thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me. Whether it was good, bad, and different, I don't care. Thank you. Because it wasn't for Prez, I wouldn't have got the confidence to come back. So I'm wearing that 45, but you remember Jordan put the 45 back and took the 23 back out. So come March, when that EP drop, you're going to see the 23 back on. Good good for you, Cruz. Good for you. And, and, and shout to Stax. Yo, Stax, what up, man? We need you on next week's live. Enjoy, enjoy your new year out there in St. March. You're killing it, kid. But, yo, Cruz, thanks for all of the gems. And, and, and we're going to keep this warrior mentality going into 2021. Keep it up. All right. Love you, boy. God bless My everybody. Brother. Take care. Love you, kid. Thank you. All right. All right. Love you. Damn, James Cruz killed it. Oh, oh, James, if you're still listening, somebody wrote in the comments that they want your email address. So I don't know if they want to send you music. I don't know if you have an email address for, for music. So please, um, if you're still in the comments, go ahead and type something because I'm sure somebody want to get you some music or something. Uh, guys, I typically would be cutting it off in the next five minutes, but I want to let it go. I got a couple more people that I want to get in. This is the last live we're going to do um, before the new year. I, I want to send us into the new year with as much positivity, as much inspiration, as much motivation, as hum and as much education as humanly possible. I see my brother Edgar in the building. He's been jumping in the building on the regular. This is one of my oldest friends in the world. He's a brother. He's not even a friend. Um, Blackie, I love you, kid. And, and, and thanks for the support always jumping in. I see so many people jumping in the live. Who, who, who do we have here? Uh, 
it's, I can't read everybody's names. I'm sorry. I just, I just got reading glasses. I, I'll put them on the next go round. My eyes. This is OG Prez. Um, I'm looking nuts, but but I can't read the comments. So if worse comes to worse, just type your name in. I would love to give you a shout out and just acknowledge you. But we gotta continue to grow this community. I love the fact that there are so many heavyweights that jump in and give it free game for nothing. Every Wednesday, 7 p.m., this is what we do, that you never know who's going to jump in this live. So let's keep spreading the word. I'm going to let one into, oh, my man Dave out in L.A., Street Elements, 100%. I'm no me without you, Dave. You know that. TC Unleashed, I see you. Harlem the Kid, what up? Always supporting the Power Move Maker movement. Joy, I see you. And, 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 and Amar, I think I'm saying your name correctly. I meant to hit you. Stay on the line. I see you've been requesting since earlier. So, Amar, make sure. Hold on. Is that you, Ma? Uh-huh. No way. This is my mother, y'all. Ma, what up? And, and, I'm good. How about you? Now, Ma, you just, for everybody, this is my mother. She's been sick. Ma, you getting on here? You don't even have your wig on. This is what I'm talking about. You, 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 you doing this? This is what it's all about. You, Ma, I didn't even know my hair fell out like that. But my mother, yeah. cancer. Y'all know that. Please keep on your prayers. But I'm gonna stop talking. Go ahead and talk, Ma. I just want to say hi. You're doing fantastic. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Ma. I can't, what are you doing on IG Live? <laughs> <laughs> and let me see that ball head. Turn around. Show me how pretty you are. You just show the Ma. You, you show the back of your head. She don't know how to do it. The coach. You show the back of her head. Let, oh, there you let, go. There you go. Look how nice you look, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, making, you're, you're making a fashion statement. Everybody going to start wearing their hair like that. <laughs> it's all good. I'm here. I'm coming back. Thank God. Yes, you are, Ma. And my mother's a huge supporter of the power movement. Every week she, she's calling me, telling me how proud she is. And, and thank you, Ma. Like, like it's, it's, it's so important. And this is for everybody. It's so important that we get flowers while people are still around. And for somebody to even jump in this live, and Ima, you, 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 you almost don't make me drop a tear on live. You can't do that. I got a reputation out here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you feel better. I'll call you in the morning. Okay. Love you. All right. Love you, Ma. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. How about that? How about that? Yeah, shout shout to my mother. Everybody knows, you know, she she has been dealing with health issues for the last year and a half. I'm so happy to even see this woman up, and 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 just the fact that she got that smile on her face. That's what this is all about, y'all. Please keep her in your prayers. Please, you know, it, it, you know, we 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 talk a lot about business on these lives, but we got to keep each other in 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 our prayers. That's why we are creating this community. It goes beyond work. It goes beyond business. So, Ma, I love you, and, and I'm so happy to see you looking good, and, and, and you, you, you definitely are going to make that head do a fashion statement. And I like that you came in and just showed it like it is. That, that, that's probably where I get the authenticity from. So good job, Ma. Oh, hold on. Let me let somebody else in this live. How about that? We 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 gonna let one or two more in, and then we gonna close it out. We we coming up on one hour right now. So who we got, real quick? What up, Press? What up? What up? Who we got? Announce yourself. I'm Dakari Mayo, 90 CEO of Dallas Lamar. <laughs> Dakari, I need you to get still. I need you to get still. But every everybody didn't hear you. So so announce yourself. Tell them who you are. And what you do. Dakari Mayo, 19 year old CEO of Dallin Lamar. Watch That's what I'm everything. talking about. Merch, bags, duffel bags, luxury. 
luxury brand. Slippers. Slippers. Well, what's up, Press? So, so what up, Dakari? First and foremost, number one, Dakar, me and Dakari's father went to school together. And I love the fact that that Dakari, his son, is is an entrepreneur, 19 years old, and he's doing his thing. So, Dakari, I don't know if you have any questions or you just came on to promote what you're doing, but it's important because I always say you're never too young and you are never too old right. to go after it and be a power move maker. And you're showing it. You're 19 years old. How long have right. you been in business? One year, December, around December 6th. December 6th, last year, 2019. Have you always been into fashion? Always, always, always. The younger picture is always, always. Then that's why I feel like... So you always like, knew is, you were... It's, it's, huh? It's, it's, that's why I feel like it's been in me because I've always been... People were, I, at school, like, yo, you, you, dress, you try to dress too hard. Like, you trying to dress too nice and stuff like that. But like, that's just how I am. That's just how I've always been. You know, that's just me. That's just how I've been. I'm into that fashion. And now to make money off of it is just... That's, to make my own merch and then to have people say that I inspired them to do other things, that's cool too. I'm 19 here and people say I inspired them. Like, that is crazy. That is crazy. At 19 years old, being a CEO, having your merch, you are inspiration. You inspire me. Like, do you know how many people at 19 don't even know what they want to do with their life? Do you know how many people at 19 are confused. So the fact that you are even focused and brave enough to start your own, right. that's incredible. Right. Like, like, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I, I remember when your Thank father you. called me. I remember when your father called me. I said, let him run. Let, let him go do his thing. <laughs> but, but let me ask yeah. you something, Carl. Have you always had this entrepreneur spirit? And if not, I, like, how did you get over your fear to even start your business? I did. I started my first business when I was 12. I was in sixth grade. I started a tie-dye business, tie-dye socks. I used to tie-dye socks in my garage. I still have the Instagram up to this day. It's called Rockin' Socks with an underscore. Rockin' Socks, 2012, 2013. com. Okay, so, so have you... You, you, what made you decide I'm going to start this business as opposed to going and working at, at you know, trying to do an internship at a, at, a, uh, at, at a fashion house or working for some big brand out there? Because I love the fact that you are, you're jumping out there and you're doing it. Right. To be honest, to be honest, I had got arrested. And then I caught a felony. So with that felony, you know, like, what you going to do? What you really going to do? So this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm trying to pursue. And then branch off into other things. So right now, where can people find your merch at? DallinLamar.com. My friend Bo Bo just put it in the description. He just put it in the description? Good. Right. Because we want to we send some orders your way. This right here, this is a community of movers. And I want you to be able to jump in this uh, on, on this live from time to time because there's people in this live who have started successful fashion lines. So right. I don't know right now you're doing your thing, but I got to believe you're running into roadblocks. You, you know, sometimes you hit me and you ask, where can I get this made out of? Where can I get right. that made out? Fashion was my thing, but there's somebody in this live where fashion is their thing. So right. I'm glad that you're part of this community, and I love the fact that you are such a young mover and you're right. out there doing it. That's crazy. I mean, that's so inspirational. Right. I want to let others know. I shadowed Mr. Prez last year for the event, DJ Khan. That was a great experience to see you work in the BTC. To see you where you were serious and everything. Like that taught me so much the way how to run a business straightforwardness and everything just everything patience and everything the way you moved around that whole thing i watched everything everything on stage i was at every by your side that whole time i appreciate you for that i appreciate that so much that was just a to see that now like a lot of stuff is in my mind like i know 
step by step, and I'm learning more. So that was just a blessing right there. Well, I'm going to just tell you this. We here to support you. Um, you know, make sure you continue to spread the word about what we're doing over here. And if you got any questions, I know you hit me offline from time to time, but this is where right. you do it because there's somebody who's, who, who right now, you believe it or not, they're looking at you and they're twice your age. And you just right. gave them the encouragement. If he at 19 years old oh, can get up look. there and do his thing, so can I. I, I was going around the city. I went around the Bronx. I went over the train stations. I put up flyers. You know the QR codes? Yep. I got my website. I got my Instagram. I was putting up flyers in the city, the train stations. I was just walking around 120. I was going everywhere, putting up flyers. Doing this about every day now. Putting up flyers. But that's what you have to do. This is, this is, this is, this is what's called humble beginning. And I'm going to tell you something. One day when, when, when your clothing line blows, these are going to, because everybody's thinking about the destination. Right. But it's the journey. When right. I started out, I started out doing the same thing you just talked about. On the street, handing out flyers, barrel to right. barrel, school to school, trying to get anybody, in, anybody who would listen to me and right. take me serious. So just remember, Cherish what you're doing right now. Enjoy right. this ride because one day we all gonna be hearing about your clothing line. Right. And I would love, you know, for people to be like, I remember him. I remember yeah. the car came on and he was 19 years old talking about he was gonna blow this clothing line up. So yeah. so what you're doing is so inspirational, kid. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate all it. Right. Where can everybody find you at? Where can they buy your gear? One more time. DallinOmar.com. D A L L E N. I'll put it right here. Spell it just like this. High end fashion. Going for high end fashion. Everything Everybody, fast. please go support. My watches got branding in them. Well, I don't sell watches, but branding. It's official business. I got my LLC right here. Right here. Everything. D Dakari. Yes, sir. Dakari, make sure, make sure you send me a flyer. Send me some artwork. I'm going to post it on my IG, and I'm going to try to get as many people on this live to repost it as well. This is All what right. we do. We are moving, supporting movers. Keep the good work, kid. Tell I just got to order just now. That's what it's about. That's what we do. Two. $230. Whoever that was, thank you. $230. Whoever that was, thank you. Wow. Wow, bro. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. But don't for, don't forget to Thank send me you. don't forget to send me your uh, your flyer. I'm gonna post it and I'm gonna try to get as many people on this live to repost. We are movers supporting movers, y'all. We can do this. We don't need the outside. We can start our right. businesses and grow them right here together. Dakari, be good, brother. Happy New Year. And keep Thank up the great you. work. Here too. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we gonna take one more, and 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 I'm and I'm gonna um and I'm gonna log off. We right now an hour and ten minutes into it. Shout to my man Dakari. I'm gonna make sure I repost for him. Everybody, go go to my IG live if y'all can repost for him. Let's get him some orders before the new year's out. I love that. Is you are never too young, and you're never too too old to be a mover. Ma, I'm waiting on you. You are seventy one. You are going to get better, and you are going to start your business. And we're going to promote your business right here on Power Move Maker. So keep it up. I want you to keep getting better, Ma. Hold on. We got one more, and we're going to jump out. And I feel so bad because we, we got so many people waiting to get in the live this week. Yeah, what's up, man? What up, what up? Who we got? How you doing? This is Bobo. Bobo, what up? Yeah, what's up, man? I'm a rapping artist, feel me? I'm coming out from the Bronx. 
co-op city. Okay. Yeah, you feel me? I just started learning how to be more independent in the rap game because I used to most likely look on to like features or other people for help, but I learned how to be more independent. And you know, I try to team up with certain friends like Dad and Lamar. You feel me? That's my friend. Yep. Like when I do like music videos, I would have him like come by, you know, show off his merch too. You know what I'm trying to say? Got to support. Nah, that, that, that's dope. Did 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 you catch did you catch James Cruz earlier? Nah, I, I missed it. Oh, see, see, you, you like you got to get on these on these lives earlier. Mm -hmm. Like, like James Cruz see. managed everybody from Fifty Cent to Diddy to Nicki Minaj. He yeah. dropped a lot of information for somebody like yourself, who's an independent artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I always have like in my raps, I sometimes like to use quotes like something go like this, like separate my palms. Oh, well, we we can't see you. We keep 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 it on. Yeah, we yeah, can't see. You. It's just that the Wi-Fi be messed up, so I keep on moving it. Oh, okay, got you. But in my rapping quotes, one of them I say is, separate my palms every day. I never had to fight. I'm the youngest while I'm for the cake. You feel me? We never, feel you. People laugh, never gave advice. Everything I do is, everything I owe, everything I always do is just a joke. These people, mo people don't motivate. Ah, my, my fault messing up, a little camera shy, but you know? Okay, well, well, well. As an artist, I want you to work on that, and you get over that, and you come back on in another. Oh no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not camera shy. I just, that's an old, that's just the old verse. It's just that, like, I have other rapping stuff that I say, but it's like it's just certain pain of what I go through. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't like to say everything on social media. You know, there's kids. I don't like to curse. You know what I'm trying to say? I kind of okay, listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. You, you, how, how many times you got to make a first impression? A first impression, a lot. No, you do not. You got one time to make a first impression. Mm -hmm. So you telling me you are artist, and I believe in giving it to you raw, and, and giving it to you straightforward. Don't do, if if you got one time to make this first impression, and you come on talking about these are old rhymes, but you selling yourself as a as a, as a rapper up and coming. Right now, you leaving yeah. us with your mindset like I don't know about him as an artist. So uh -huh. don't 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 jump out there until you ready to jump. This is oh. an important lesson for you. Until you yeah. listen to anybody, he's a rapper. But but for anybody starting a business, for anybody who's doing their thing out there and trying to move up in, in, in the company, yes, I want everybody to go for it. But you got one shot, one shot, one shot alone yeah. to make that impression. Don't jump out there until you are ready. So you are ready to do something that's going to blow people's mind. So we're going to have you back on in a couple of weeks. If you got your stuff tighter, we're going to support you. Mm -hmm. but right now, we definitely got your back because you a mover. You a young mover. Yes, sir. We want you to continue to stay in this community. But I also want people to follow you and see the potential in you that you know you got, okay? Yeah, and I, have a up I also have an upcoming music video coming out soon. You got an upcoming who? Music video. I have a music video coming up called Water Man. Type, type it in the comments because I want to get one more person into this live before we end it. Type right. it in the comments. You have a happy new year, okay? Let me see who we got. All right, y'all. I don't know if we got anybody else trying to get into this live. But if not, we're going to close it out. We, we, matter of fact, we're going to close it out. We are an hour and 20 minutes in. I let it run a little longer. This is our last live of the season. So everybody, number one, let's keep doing, let's keep doing what we're doing. Um, oh, man, my man Joe Jackson, long time, one of, the, one of the greatest promoters in New York City, one of the greatest promoters ever. Joe Jackson, I see you, brother. Um, you know, at the end of the day, guys, let's just continue to support one another. Do not wait until Friday and, 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 and start with this New Year's resolution that you ain't going to stick to, but for three, four weeks into the New Year, and then you do it now. Finish this year strong. Finish this year with the warrior mentality. Finish this year in, in honor of my man Michael Smith Jr.'s legacy. He was a mover, always if not the first, one of the first people in our lives encouraging people week over week to go after this. 
We gonna keep his legacy going. He's a fallen warrior, but this is what we do in our community. And I want everybody to go into 2021 with, with, with his mantra, with his motto, warrior mentality, because that's what he was. We got a fallen warrior in our community. We gonna continue to lift him up. We ain't gonna forget him, but we gonna keep lifting each other up. Everybody else, y'all, I'm glad y'all stuck with me. And, um, you know, I'll see y'all on Monday. If I don't speak to y'all, Happy New Year. And I pray with all of my heart and all of my soul what we're doing here. It is, it is helping to encourage somebody. If y'all, you know, like I pray that, that what I'm giving back is not in vain. It's, it's, it's being received well by you guys. And you guys are getting something out of it and hopefully are able to take it with you on your journey. Trust me when I tell you. And I'll leave it here. But I started off this year, guys, with, with no Instagram followers. And look where we at now. Like, like I'm just shy of 5,000 followers. I'm hustling. I'm grinding. I'm doing whatever I can do to get this message out there. And y'all are receiving it. So I got to just thank you so much. Like, like, this is what we do. Let's support one another, y'all. And, and, and really just continue to be there and be inspirations for one another. I love y'all. Happy New Year. And I'll see y'all on Monday at 7 o'clock. All my movers, I love y'all. Movers, movers, movers. Let's keep the warrior mentality. One love.